the iPhone 6, a device that certainly didn't feel like the future back then. Its 4.7-inch display was massive, and the 6 Plus? It was even massiver. Let's take a moment to appreciate the design that had us all saying, who wants small iPhones anyway? If you put them together, you can clearly see the difference in size. Now, let's talk. The A8 chip wasn't ready for the bigger screens, which led to laggy and unstable software experience. It felt like a moped engine in a Mercedes. And the iOS 8, which came on these devices, wasn't adding. And the camera on this piece of shit, I mean iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, is. Let's just say, it is there. But on the other hand, one of the best features of this phone is literally nothing. Now let's address the elephant in the room. The infamous bend gate. Remember when putting your phone in your back pocket was considered a high stakes game? Well, nothing changed. But today, we're putting the iPhone 6 through the ultimate bend test. Again. Will it survive even after 10 years? Or has it gotten stronger? Let's see if this piece of shit, I mean tech, can stand the test of, well, bending. Oh, I can feel the tension. Would you look at that? The iPhone 6 thinks it's a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. No, it's not. And it's not even a feature, folks. It's just embracing its flexibility. Now let's move on to the crash test. Because why not? I mean, who hasn't accidentally dropped their phone while talking to their angry girlfriend, right? Why did you sleep with my dog? Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the drop test. But before that, world of tanks. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, hopefully. Five, four, three. Oopsie. Looks like the iPhone 6 took a tumble, just adding a bit more battle scars, but at least it's not shattered. It's completely and utterly devastated. It's like a vintage, antique, aged, crashed, completely non-functional due to extensive physical harm Z-Flip now.